Hello everyone, today we will continue with the, our gantry. We will belt our Z and put our gantry on the frame. For that, I have just unscrewed the belt holder for the one side. Since we will do our belt tensioning on the frame after doing the gantry racking, I just removed them and just left the belts routed. And now we will use these caps, one smaller hole and one bigger hole. And we will install them in these four corners on the idlers and the AB drive but first we need to do a stack we need to put M5 hex nut in here we will put our belt cap on top of it the flat surface of the belt cap will sit on the other parts there should be a place for the belt on top of it we will put M5 30 and M3 by 30 later on we will test these two together but for now I will just put this stack on the gantry Again, I'm leaving them snug, not torquing them. We will do this stacking and putting the pieces together in total four times. Like I said, this will be connected like this and this will be the pivot point so there will be small movement gap for the gantry so first thing I will apply a little bit crease in here to help the friction and while installing this together I mean while you are screwing these two parts together don't make this screw tightened that much now I will install this on the carriage we will use M3 by 30 four of them for each this part needs to be look up While you are putting gantry, be careful about where is your front side of your machine. So where these two holes are your back side of the machine. So your tool head needs to look in the front side of the machine. I mean this side. I just put the gantry and tighten on with the rope to hold it and also I put these pieces together let me show you what I'm trying to tell you before it's a little bit flex now due to pivot part so we want that now we will install our Z belts before installing it I want to be sure are they equal or not uh, again I will use the same method like the AB belts I will just compare the two for the line I'm doing like this right now they are in line I'm going like that till the end if both tools are finishing at the same time, so that means our belts are equal to each other. In mine, one of them was two foot um, shorter, so I cut three foot from the other tree. And by the way, if you don't have pre-cut belts, just run one at your tolerance, and after that, cut the same length for the other tree. To install it, actually, we need a space in here, so between the accent part and the idler. So I need to unscrew these carrots. So don't put your carriage before put your Z belt. I installed all the Z belts, however, they are not tightened yet. Here's a tips about the gantry. First of all, uh, before installing your gantry, I mean while installing these pieces, while screwing these two pieces to this stack to frame, you can put your Z belts. So it will be easier for you. Just make it flush in here and uh, screw this stack to your frame uh, and tighten the, these M5 and M M3 screws. After putting your gantry, you can mount these pieces, uh, carrots, to your gantry and you can route your Z belt. About uh, routing your Z belts, the tooted side of the belt should always look to, in my case, is the blue printed part, not the accent one, but the blue one. So in here, the tooted side is actually looking to upside and in here, the two tooth side is looking to down. Uh, I would put my belt while I am putting this stack onto frame. And after installing your gantry to your frame, you simply can route your, your belt through the Z pulleys. So you are going to pulley and coming up from it. And you are using this channel for the Z belts. And you are going to idler and coming back to your front idler. 
and on the top you are securing your belt via this cap again i didn't tighten these caps for all of them i didn't tighten my z belts yet so we can do same thing for the all for z belts and yeah here's a, another quick tip don't put your xmy belts until you put your z belts and fine-tuned it but i mean tightened it after putting your gantry in the frame and put your z belts then install your uh, x and y belts it is more convenient for them thinking and another thing is remember that i only tightened this for the all four side i didn't tighten these ones and i didn't tighten the a b parts top and bottom and i didn't tighten these ones and yeah again top and bottom Just like i said before we need to fine tune our gantry we need to find our home position for that after that we will tighten and secure them but of course you need to tighten also the these tops ones for the z belts after you tensioned your belt so tighten these for the z tension after doing gantry raking tighten the rest but don't forget to tighten this after doing gantry racking. Another thing is using the grease is very helpful, what I'm observing till now. Uh, again, don't over tighten your screw, which is screwing these two parts again. I will tighten the Z belts. I will be careful about the tooth side since it's flushing here for the all four of them. After tensioning my Z belts, these remaining parts should be same for all of them. So with that, I will know that my belts are equally tensioned. I tensioned the Z belt. I'm happy with it. It seems I don't need to do fine tuning via here, but let's see. Uh, yeah, like I explained, I just did one of them and I count these remaining two and just apply the same thing all four of them. So since I left same number of teeth, they should have same tension. Yeah, this idler also roughly same position i just uh, did flush with the, with the hex nut in here my tensioning screw for all of them so theoretically they should have same tension but we will see later on i can quickly adjust via this tensioning idler as you can see i also removed the rope right now my zelt belts are holding my entry now it's easier to see also the joint what I mean here so we need this tolerance it's nice we have seen some movement hello everyone I just finished my gantry racking since I don't have the proper setup I couldn't show you how to do it uh, but I will explain you how I did first of all you remember that we kept these screws not tightened, just snug. Before you're tightening the XY belt or running your XY belt, make sure your gantry is roughly in the square. What I mean, I just took this one and measure, uh, took the reference as a 17 centimeter and made all four corners at the 17 centimeter from the frame. After that, I just pushed my carrier tilted the back. If there is no gap, after fixing it, I uh, tighten these screws for the, this frame these screws and the bottom these screws and the bottom just only for the this frame then i took my gantry to the front i checked the racking so there's no gap in here and there's no gap in here if there is a gap which actually i had i just played with the gantry me moving the turning like this 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 is your gantry turning your gantry like this this little bit then i found the sweet spot for the my x frame then after that i tightened this screw and the bottom there's the one for that and this screw and the bottom for the x joints after tightening the old screw for the gantry i ran my belt while the gantry is on the frame the running belts a little bit tricky but not that much hard just start your reference point and make sure you have left same number of tooth in here for the bottom you will use this left idler and remember that if there is a idler tooth side needs to face with the idler and if there is a bearing stack the flat side this side needs to be faced with the bearing and for that just unscrew this completely this tensioning idler and put this back to till the end then you will see a bearing stack 
and with the tweezers you can also see the belt in here you can use this space to rot your belt it's same for this one also unscrew completely put it on the forward and again you will you can rot your you can see the bearing and the, you can rot your belt from here for the back this is the left back so again for the top you are just using a bearing stack and go to the other driver and for bottom you are using bearing stack and if you can see i am running around the pulley of this motor so be careful in here it's a common mistake that the belts are routed not this space but from here by passing the, this plastic bar so we don't want to do that we just want to turn around the bearings or the idlers so it will not rub any plastic part or anything so for the bottom belt and for the back left motor i think i'm, I'm not sure but it should be a back left driver turn the idler go to pulley without going through the plastic part and turn back from the pulley and come back to bearing stack this is the top view bottom belt is just bearing stacks and for the up belt so this is the back right driver we are doing the same thing what we did in the the other one for the bottom one again go idler turn pulley and come back to bearing you don't want to come back from here from this space going around with the plastic make sure you have you have left same tooth number in your belt that i know that my belts are roughly tensioned after running your belt pull back the gantry to front and after that without without touching belts or tool head then after that don't forget to put your screws in here again i don't know i can show it but again i made the flush with the threaded part for the both so i know that they are roughly tensioned same and after that pull back to your gantry to most front then after that without touching your belts or tool head push back your gantry to back till the end and observe your tool head if your tool head is not going directly oscillating a little bit left or right with these idlers play with it tension it until you see the straight movement going back and forth like this you need to have straight movement until that just play with your idlers then it will be tensioned properly and for now my belts are seems fine i won't play with this for now after printing something if i see something wrong i will play with them and don't cut your belts flush leave a little bit excess again be careful again uh, leave it same number of teeth then you can just hide them in here in this space it will be useful when you do the maintenance you can to head pieces on the gantry make sure your fan is opens easily left a little bit wire on the back of this fan and this is the quick change head concept of the afterburner you are just simply putting your hot end sliding its plates tighten this to screw close fan tighten this m 312s and that's all that's how easy it is in the afterburner so again to remove it unscrew this two unscrew this two also lose this two also and slide back and put the other one and that's it for the belting z episode thanks for watching you can subscribe my channel to join my journey and we will do wiring in the next one so i will try to do an episode more detailed about wiring because i know most of the people doesn't like the wiring and a couple of them is just scaring just just burning some couple stuff but you can trust me it's actually easy i can do it so you can also do it that's all thanks again for watching see you in the next one